In Malaysia, there is a place that draws visitors from far and wide. There are no skyscrapers, no luxurious shopping malls, and no fancy restaurants. There is only a blanket of green. This is the jungles of Balong Temanggul, one of the oldest rainforests in the world. Within the forest, an amazing array of flora and fauna thrives. The diversity of life in these forests is among the highest in the world. But the forest here is also attracting visitors that are not welcomed by the inhabitants of the jungle. They enter stealthily, rapidly melting into their surroundings. These visitors are poachers. They are prepared to stay for weeks with only one goal, to plunder Malaysia's natural treasures for money. Poachers set up deadly snares throughout the jungle. Steel cables are rigged to a tree and will detonate when tripped by an unsuspecting animal. Malaysian wildlife is in high demand because of its high commercial value in Asia, thought to generate more than 30 million ringgit each year. Tigers and sun bears will fetch thousands of ringgit for traditional medicines and exotic dishes. The illegal wildlife trade in the Balom Temango area has reached alarming levels with devastating effects. In 2009, WWF's patrol unit stumbled upon a snare. Peninsula Malaysia's Department of Wildlife and National Parks was called in to rescue one of Malaysia's most endangered species, the Malayan tiger. When an animal is trapped in a snare, any struggle to escape will only tighten the noose. An animal can suffer for days before dying from its wounds or from lack of water. I think it was about two and a half years old, and it was a male tiger. So it was in its prime, actually. The depth of the wound suggests that this tiger has been ensnared for more than two days. The tiger was rescued, but unfortunately died after a few weeks. WWF's patrol unit discovered the snare just one kilometer off the east-west highway. This is the main access road for poachers into the area. The Balong Temenggol landscape, it's actually a large forested area which is bisected by a highway. And due to the highway's presence there, it gives more access for people to go into, whether it's in Balong or Temenggol site. But there's roughly about 80 over access points for poachers in this area. Poaching is the main threat to wildlife in the forest of Balum and Temenggo. Ancaman utama memang uh, pemburuan haram lah. Nilai-nilai apa yang ada di dalam hutan kita ni memang uh, amat berharga. Dia yang yang saya nampak ni menjadi cabarannya, yang pertama kesedaran. Sebab sekiranya dia orang tak ada, kita kata kesedaran dari segi cintakan alam, sayangkan hidupan dia, saya tak rasa dia orang boleh buat aktiviti buat kawasan tu dengan kita kata apa dengan dengan bersungguh-sungguh ke dengan bersemangat kan jadi yang utamanya pada saya kesedaran there is a lack of awareness that the balum temanggo landscape is an important area for wildlife for the whole country balum temanggo represents a, a site that is rich with biodiversity you have everything that is the recipe that makes malaysia a biodiversity hub. The Balong Temenggol landscape actually 
is part of a global priority tiger landscape, which basically means that it can support more than 100 tigers and it's connected to a larger forested area. Due to this element, you know, it's, it's a very significant portion for Malaysia in terms of conserving tigers. Poachers are ahead in the game and are bringing wildlife to its knees. In the last one and a half years, WWF's patrol unit has deactivated 142 snares. Traffic has also made some shocking discoveries. Looking at what's happened in just one year, in 2010, we have lost 158 wild animals. For all we know, we are losing so many more. And if we continue losing wildlife at this rate, in the next 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, at some point, Malaysia's wildlife will be lost forever. For hope for wildlife in the Belum and Temango area, something needs to be done and fast. Efforts are already in place to cease wildlife trafficking. We have a new law. Malaysia has a new strong law to protect wildlife. We have a joint enforcement task force at the state level that consists of various enforcement agencies. We have NGOs working on the ground supporting government-led initiatives and yet we are still failing. More manpower is needed to protect the area. Jumlah kekitangan tu tidak sepadan dengan kawasan yang kita nak jaga. Keluasan Royal Bloom memang satu kawasan yang uh, amat luas lah. A better coordinated effort must be achieved between all parties. Tindakan ini perlulah kita merancang secara bersepadu, secara tersusun, secara teratur. Usaha ini tidak akan berjaya kalau kita tidak uh, melihat secara menyeluruh, secara kerjasama daripada agensi-agensi penguatkuasa yang ada untuk menahan, menangkap uh, dan juga mengambil tindakan terhadap mereka-mereka yang melakukan pencerobohan ini. Laws must be enforced and stiffer penalties must be given. This is an organised crime, like drugs, like murders, like arms. You treat it the way you would treat other organised crime. You need intelligence-led investigations and that is the only way you are going to catch poachers. At the end of the day, we have to show them that fighting wildlife crime is a serious business of the Malaysian government. Malaysia's natural treasures must not be taken for granted. Khazanah daripada hutan Royal Belum ini salah satu anugerah Tuhan yang begitu bernilai. Di dalam hutan tersebut terdapat macam-macam khazanah. Di segi hidupan liarnya, banyak spesies yang telah dikenal pasti di kawasan tersebut dan sepatutnya ini harus kita lindungi. Ya, harus kita jaga, memastikan bahawa mereka boleh bertahan. Kalau tidak ada benda-benda ini, maka hutan tersebut tidak ada makna lagi. Ya, jadi usaha kerajaan untuk menjadikan Royal Belum itu sebagai apa tu state park akan gagal. This program was brought to you by WWF Malaysia and Traffic Southeast Asia.